Today's video will be about setting up your workspace. My name is Ann Hine and I'm an educator with Janome. Let's get started. Now before I go into work into my working space, I could pick my fabric if I wanted and my hoop and get started that way. But all those controls are actually located within the program. So I could go quickly right into create new and it will open into my workspace area. Now one of the first things I like to do is I would prefer not to have this textured background of my fabric here. So right on my top bar I can go to fabric and it opens the fabric window. I can use my slider here if I want to get um, different sized icons in here. I can select my embroidery category and based on the type of embroidery embroidery I would like, I can pick one of these categories. To learn more about the category, if you go to your help files and put in a search embroidery category, you will find the different categories and what they mean. So I'm just going to select normal today and the fabric I had chosen was this Berber fleece and I made it a light color by clicking in the color box and moving the center of this to different places you can get the color of your background and the intensity by using the bar over here. It will still give you that texture behind your piece if you want that texture. If you don't, select the box here that says normal and OK. And now I just have what looks like a piece of paper behind there. It's a nice blank screen. The next thing you might want to do is change your grid. If you think there's too many lines here on your grid and you'd like to have less lines, you can go to view, you can go to grid, and you can do a couple different things. You can actually turn it off so there's no grid, just the outline box for your hoop, or you can go to grid and we go back there again and you can go to edit. And in edit, you can customize it. So maybe you want your grid at one inch intervals and you can select OK. And now you have one inch intervals. So it depends on the look that you want for your background and for your working area. So that's one way you can change your background area. Now another thing to set up for your working area is to go into Tools, Options. And in Options you have several areas up here you can work with. The first one is General where you can pick your language and your undo levels. Now that might be important when you're working with a design. You might want to go back pretty far if you've made a mistake or you want to go back to the beginning of something. So you can change that to what works best for you along with your auto backup. And then what's really important I think is down here is changing it to the measurement of choice. You can be in millimeters or inches. If it says to metric and you clicked it it's going to take you to metric in measurements and then you would have to click OK here, restart your program and then it would be in metric. I would like mine in imperial or inches. So I'm going to leave it at to metric. But what's interesting is when you're working in the program and it's in inches and you want to see something in millimeters, if you put in the millimeters amount in place of the inches, it will convert it all to millimeters. Or if you're in millimeters and you want to see it in inches, you can put it in inches, say 2.5 and then put IN, it will turn it into inches for you. So give that a try. So now that we've set that up, we're good. Under Tools, we can make some changes to our selection tool, how we like that to work. Um, we can work on our sequence manager here we can change our digitizer tool and I'm going to cover this in another um, video but there's different con different tools here for digitizing and you might want to find the one that you're more comfortable with if you were using Janome digitizer you would select that um, here or I'm leaving it in the context menu right now but what that does for you is it changes how you use your digitizer tools, how you right and left click to make them work. So we'll cover that more fully in another video. And then you have uh, different ways to zoom and you can select which one works best for you. Under monitor, you can select your monitor. Now I have a little bit smaller computer now 
and I had to put in uh, 12.008 to make sure I didn't lose anything off the screen. At the beginning, I didn't have everything on the bottom here, and I, I couldn't reach everything to the side. So I had to come in and put 12.008 in there, and that works for me. Under View, you can change the size of your icons. If you make them very large, they go off the bottom of the page here, and you have to scroll with them. Um, toolbar icons, you can change those here too. So you can make several different changes here for yourself. Same thing under printing. You can change the type font that you'd like your items printed out with when you go into the print mode. Um, you can also change the size of the font over here. Under palette order, this is a really interesting area. All of our thread palettes are located here. And you can choose which one will come up first in your list. Now I chose Janome, that's my default and then I can select any others in here and they will show up in my color menu and I'll show you those in a moment. So I also like Madeira Poly Neon and I like Marathon. So those are the those are two that I've chosen. Now you may have more that you like to show over there but those are the two that I like. There's several, how many are here? I have to look. There are 94 different thread palettes to choose from. So you can find which one you'd like as your default and then which other ones you'd like to show up there too. The last thing is custom hoops. If you needed to make a custom hoop, you could come in here and add a hoop. Um, and I will do another video on adding a hoop and how this all works. So under your options, you have lots of choices to make the software tailored to your type of designing and what you like to do. Once you've made your changes, select OK, and you can close out of there. I quickly want to show you what I meant about your thread palette. Here's my colors, and when I use my drop down, it shows the Madeira Poly Neon, Poly Neon and the Marathon thread. But Janome comes up first, so I have Janome colors first and foremost right there. After all, I'm a Janome girl. So hopefully, this will help you set up your workspace when you are designing and make it more tailored to what you like to do.